Hey there guys, right, episode two of me trying to get some speed packs, having a look at some flexibility stuff. Today, really tight in my back, you know, I've just finished doing some travelling, so sat on an aeroplane hasn't helped at all. So, following from the car crash, it's a really bad area for me, so I'm going to really target that this morning, and I'm going to go through with a routine that I'm going to start with, and adapt that as time goes along. So here in the fits area, we're going to run you through where my problem is in my thoracic spine from rotation. Going to join by my good pal Gordon over there. So first bit, left hand, left knee, top of the thigh, bottom of the thigh. Okay, so I'm going to rotate my shoulders back, reaching my hand back as far as I can. You can see now the shoulders rotating a little bit, so that's the maximum I can get to right there. So on 3D, that's getting me around the mid 60s in terms of a number. Okay, this bit was the one that surprised me the most. So I'm going to do the same now. Opposite hand, right hand, top of the right leg. I'm going to rotate this hand behind me, get those shoulders moving as far as I can. Jesus, I'm killed. Oh. So as you can see, fucking hell. Right, that is really poor. It's about half the amount, and it is absolutely killing me I'm almost cramping in that shoulder blade so that is where the problems are that's where i'm not getting the rotation because if i look at the standard second part of looking at it if i say right i keep my arms and shoulders really still here and i rotate my pelvis i can rotate my pelvis quite freely so i've got lots of rotation and movement in there and i can also flex the pelvis up and down quite freely through here. So I've got the movement in the pelvis, it's the back where the problems are. So I'm going to look at a few stretches to start with on how I'm going to try and free that up a little bit right here. This is not going to be fun, I absolutely hate stretching, so I'm not really not looking forward to it. The first thing I'm going to do, get these couple of bands and run through that. Okay, so I've got both the bands here, I'm going to step forward. This is going to do the front of my chest, obviously, as you can see here, my shoulders are a little bit too far forward. Okay, it's obviously putting even more pressure on that back, so getting it this way, which is, getting, which is increasing the tightness level. So I'm going to step forward right here until it's pulling me back. Now it's really pulling me back here. I'll let those arms go backwards and lean into it. Let this really stretch that chest out, get the hands up higher. Oh, that's not nice. So hold that now. They say you should breathe when you're stretching, but do you ever find that it's just so flipping painful that you can't breathe? Oh, right, that's that one done. Right, next one is I'm going to cross the bands over this way. Okay, so I'm just switching directions and I'm going to step back. So this is really pulling me. Oh, that's nice. This is actually a nice stretch. Oh, not now. So I lower my head between here as I can. I'm trying to pull my shoulders up, which is really lengthening that area right in the bottom part in between the shoulder blades. I'm going to keep both hands, well both strapped in one hand now, I'm going to go kind of into what would be a back swing, and I'll let it feel like it's really feeling like it's pulling me back to the wall this. So I'm going to try and just gauge his chest a little bit against the arm, it's going to be like stretching right through the lat, the side, this is actually a really pretty nice stretch to be honest. So just turn the shoulder against it, I'm not going to be trying to force them like this in the golf swing, the arm feels like it's being pulled. I'm slightly engaging, now I can really feel that stretch now. One thing I tend to get wrong is I tend to overdo the shoulders, so that's better. And the bands really feel like they're pulling me backwards here. Now 
out the other way. Same stretch. This one actually feels so much easier than the other side. It's a little bit tougher. That's really interesting. It's that lat on the left side so tight. I don't know my back's on the sure. That's pretty good. That was pretty interesting there because that whole area of the lat, when I was stretching that out, felt so much easier on the right side, which obviously the follow through side, than it did on that back swing. Jeez, pieces here. So, right, now for a non fun one. So, one from, okay, okay, chest in. Now this next one, I'm going to show you how to stretch the lat and get some rotation into it. But in terms of if I have the movement with my pelvis with it, I actually find this quite easy. So what you see is if you can have one where you kind of have a you know, side plank here, like this. And then if I rotate from there, I find this really easy. So I've got the stability in my core to allow me to get that rotation, but I can get away with it in that exercise just because my pelvis is strong enough and it's got enough flexibility to get away with it. This next exercise, you're going to see just how bad it is. So I'm going to do it both sides. I'm going to go with the good side first. So, trying to get my hands kind of underneath my shoulders, flat with the back as I can get it. And then what I'm going to do is reach this hand under Get the shoulders as low as I can, that arm extend out. The idea is to try and get the shoulders as close to 90 as I can. Oh god, I love this. This is stretching like mad. This is going to be a killer one for me. This is not fun. So. This side's a bit easier. better on this side by quite a lot. Oh, that is a killer. Now I know why I don't like stretching. It isn't fun. So this next one's going to be to kind of target my neck area here where it's a little bit tight. So should I stay quite right here on the ball? I'm going to have my head kind of go from the middle of that face there. Pull it forward. Look quite a nice stretch from the area at the back. Right, so last one I'm going to try and do is going to try and get on the ball here. 
I don't quite like this one. I'm going back chest into the ball there a little, take my arms out, one hand will be down, so I'm trying to work it, just getting some rotation. This way. It's just... Oh, that's brilliant. Go the opposite way. This one should be a little more difficult. There it is. They're just the starting exercises I'm going to be going through. I'm going to dead quick now go through the last thing. I've got two bits here. Foam roller and spiking balls. I find it really hard to target my area in the middle about the foam roller. People suggested getting one of these. Already had one. Thanks a lot for everyone's suggestions. But I'm going to have a quick go with spiking balls because you get right into the little spot. They absolutely wreck a hayum. But they're brilliant. So dead quickly, go through that just into those little target areas, make a little movements on them, just try and break down any tightness in that area. So, pop these down, find the hole, oh, not there. Now, that's just one bit of the routine, so I need to repeat that three times, which I'm going to go through now. Won't appear three times on camera. So this is just the start of what I am going to be doing. So I'm going to be working through this, kind of doing the stretching about three times a week. So then moving on and getting the fitness and everything else going together. Hope you found this interesting. It'll be interested to see where this takes it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you want to be in agony like I just was, Get two of these, they're absolutely horrible, but they're fantastic. Thanks for watching, and speak to you soon.